Now to my chapter 61 review, they are back, so I'm geared up to give you guys a review for Naruto this week and for weeks on end. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So yeah, all the selfies, they all got sucked out of them. Naruto and bees are now out of their bodies and they all fall in. interesting information that we get in this chapter apparently when it comes to white zetsu he's apparently the more talkative one or the white zetsus are more talkative ones while black zetsus are more invective though i don't really see that characteristic trait in the black zetsu like i, I don't see how that works with the, it, 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 I, I mean we're just gonna go with it we're just, we're just gonna go with it but that explains why i think white zetsu always is, is talking very casually to Madara because he's just that kind of this kind of guy that kind of guy also, what White Zetsu says in here is kind of like, I don't know, I find it stupid, but he's like, wow, man, you know, it took, it, it took more than a second for you to get those freaking tail beasts all in the ghetto mods, oh, but hey, you at least did it fast enough, so I'm sitting here thinking, oh, cool, <laughs> what? <laughs> Another thing, too, Madara freaking mentions after he takes out all the tail beasts and puts in the ghetto mods, he's like, oh, well, that's all I can do for now, and I'm sitting here like, you make it seem like you didn't do much, man. You freaking took all the tail. You got the gun on my side. Like, what? You, like, god dang, man. Like, what? What, what? what do you expect to do? What? what? I don't understand. But after that, that's when Tua Ron kind of comes in. He's all like, oh, my God. I'm right here. He's trying to get him and everything. But, you know, like, that, that feels, that feels, that feels hard. And, oh, yeah, yeah, we go, we go to Gar. Yeah, we go, we go to Gar. Because the funny thing is, Gar, like, he, he catches Naruto. In a, uh, you know, later, like, like the early parts of the chapter, and then go back to Gara, and he's like, I won't let you die, Naruto. You know, you, you ain't dying right now. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, ooh, man. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna let Naruto die, yeah. Well, what, what about B? Like, like, is he, is he not important? Is, is he not someone to save? Like, well, you, you, like, hopefully you're going over there to go get him, because, I mean, it's kind of messed up, man. I'm just, I'm just saying, you're like, I won't let Naruto die. You're not gonna say, I, I won't let Naruto and B die. I mean, he's there, too. He's somebody, yeah. <laughs> and so then we go back to Madara, and this was very interesting, that what, what he says here. He says that he doesn't know if the eye will stick with him. Isn't, like, why why, why, why would he say that? Like, isn't isn't that your eye? Why wouldn't it not want to, like, work with you? Like, it, it, it's your eye. So, I mean, maybe it's still not working at 100%, seeing as he still couldn't do the things that he wanted to do. That's why he's like, oh, that's all I can do for now. So apparently the eye is still not, like, connecting to him properly well i mean i guess that's how it is when you just throw it in there i mean you can't just like yeah i got the power no i mean i guess you got i guess you got the weight or maybe you can reject him i don't know it's, it's very interesting that that got brought up though so um, that's very interesting maybe i can actually reject him and so then we go over to hashirama and sasuke and sasuke is about to go and go attack and go onto the field and everything go do his thing but before that um hashirama's like wait a minute I got something to give you. I got a technique I need to give you. Because he has Senjutsu, or he has my Senjutsu, this technique I'm gonna give you kinda counter that and you can you can bind them because of the Senjutsu. And the thing is, he thinks, Hashirama thinks that he, like Madara won't try to kill him or they can do it without actually fighting because he believes that Sasuke is like Zuno, or at least it reminds, he, like, Sasuke reminds him of Azuna, basically, so he's just, he's assuming that that might be the same thing for Madara. I mean, Madara did have a kind soul at one point, or he had a kind heart at one point, so maybe he might actually take pity or not do anything to Sasuke. So he's betting on that, and hopefully that 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 Jutsu that uh, Sasuke gives can freaking seal him up. But that whole thing, that whole plan, did not work at all because we see Madara and he goes on a little tangent. He starts preaching, basically saying that. Hashirama is a man that wanted peace, but at the same time, he also wanted war. And so with that, you know, Hashirama wasn't basically hesitating to protect something in a, in a cause of trying to create peace. So what he's trying to do, or for a cause that he wanted, so what he's trying to do is basically, for my cause, I guess I need to sacrifice somebody too. And so what he does, you see Sasuke, Sasuke come down, I don't know what the heck Sasuke was doing. I mean, he didn't, he didn't care to dodge at all. Like, this sucker was like, Ooh. Oh, and get stabbed right in the stomach. You just, you just have to like, oh, whoa, or not in the stomach, or in the heart. Wherever he got stabbed, the whole point is, and you just sitting there like, whoa, look like I'm dead. Yeah. So that right there is the end of the chapter, and I like that though, because it's kind of like almost symbolism. Because seeing as they kind of like throw that in, saying that Sasuke is similar to Azuna, it's kind of like saying that Madara is willing to sacrifice his own brother. 
for this cause that he's, you know, what he's trying to do. He's trying to recreate a new world. That's what this is all about. So this is kind of like the symbolism that's kind of getting shown within this chapter. And I like that. I was very interesting thing we did, they did here in this chapter here. So overall, this chapter was, this chapter actually was a good chapter to come back to, seeing as Naruto came back. So overall, this was a good chapter. Very solid, you know, had a lot of things going on here. I like the conversation that Modern and, and uh, Toby Rama had too. Not to mention, I love the fact that uh, Madara talking to Toby Rama was like, you know what, you're the guy that killed my brother, you know, I can, I can do some stuff to you. So I mean, I like that as well. So I mean, I, I like the fact that he had a little, a little bit of dialogue and Toby Rama actually even taking the incentive to try to attack him too, which was really nice. Cause I love freaking seeing Toby Rama try to go win. Um, like I said, hopefully, Garo will go over there and go say B2 and stuff and, and not just freaking get, <laughs> not just get, um, Naruto, because it's kind of, it's like I said, it's kind of funny that he's like, I'll just, I'll, I'll make sure you don't die, Naruto. I'm like, no, what about me? What about me? God dang, no one cares about me. He's always just in the background. He, he's, he's never there anymore. He's just, he's a, he's a side character among Psycho. I mean, no, he's still not as bad as Tintin, so I'll leave that there. But also another thing which I need to mention as well that I'm not sure if you've seen, but it seems like White Zetsu is going to be going somewhere, so I'm wondering where he's going to go. He's going to go over to where Obito is, or like, what, what is he going to go do? Because as he was like preaching to Toby Rama and everything, he's like, yeah, I, I'll, I'll go, you know, go do something. Because like, he needs, he, he thinks what he's doing is trying to kill the world in a way. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna go somewhere. So I'm like, where, where are you going, White Zetsu? I'm very curious about that. But um, yeah. So like I said, overall, this was a very, you know, solid chapter. It was good, a good comeback for Naruto as well. I look forward to seeing what is gonna happen next exactly. And I, like I said, I said this before, Naruto ain't gonna die. B other than. The black guy always gotta die, but no, no, no. He, he, I don't know if he's gonna survive this. Honestly, Naruto, he's not gonna die here. So I, I was wondering what, what they're gonna do to try to keep them alive exactly. I mean, now I know Naruto can survive much longer than probably be because you know he's Uzumaki and you know that blood trade and blah 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 blah. So it's possible he'll stay stay alive longer. But I wonder what the heck they're gonna try to do to try to keep them alive. So we'll have to see. Like I said before, Sakura could possibly come in there and be like, oh, remember what Granny Shiro said? Maybe she knows the technique that she can like sacrifice herself and then boom, sacrifice and then get get Naruto back up and then she dead. And, you know, win-win situation. I'm just getting, no, no, no. See, I'm, I'm being evil now. I'm being evil. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> see, leave a comment below. Tell me this week's Naruto Mind Chapter. Like, you like this review, subscribe to my channel for more Naruto reviews for you. See you in the Break Master. Until then, people. Great guy.